Greetings, welcome back to the shiny only fire mall type run of fire red cancel complete. So, uh, off camera I decided, fuck it, I'll just shiny hunt Moltres. So, uh, yeah. Get in the ball. Okay, I know I'm gonna call you. I'll call you Phoenix. Now, I do actually intend to use a legendary Pokemon on this, just so I have a better counter to water types. Should have one earlier, but it's not gonna be Moltres. Um, so give me a sec and I will skip on ahead. So we're actually in Vermilion City because it turns out I might have missed something. So, there's supposed to be something I can get in here, I think. I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to to get it. Uh, no, who cares? No, that doesn't make any sense. Give me a second. Well, that's some bullshit, so apparently I was supposed to get it in the Pokemon Center, but for some... What I was looking for was the Mystic Ticket, but for some reason I can't get that. Oh, and I need to have a Pokemon that, no, that can learn Waterfall, and I believe this is the only segment of the game where I need that. Really annoying. Never been a big fan of HMs. Back when Gen 1 was being developed, they were going to be items, and that's what they should have been. Instead of forcing you to waste slots in your party. It's one of the few th improvements, in my opinion, made with the, with the uh, newer generations. And that is, no more HM slaves, because fuck that noise. Too many items. Ugh. Okay, so first things first, we need to go... I think we need to go this way. If we want to get all the items anyway. Uh... Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, so then we go down here. I think? Or... No, that's the wrong way, too. This way. That's the big mushroom. Now we go down to the lower one. Soul do. Well, we're not going to be able to use Latios or Latios, and this is what we need Waterfall for. It's just for this one fucking part of the game. What's the point? So now we go here, over here, nope, up here. And now we go down here, over here, we find Laura. Oh, oh, damn it! Lorela and Team Rocket. This will be quick. Oh no, you don't. Okay, so now we're done here, and we can move on to the next. Oh yeah, and up here there's a max robot. Good. Let's put this up here because I need it. And over here should be a hidden item somewhere, or not? Huh. I'm mistaken. Anyways. Now we go to five islands. Now, ordinarily, I think you could actually skip having to go to the rocket base and then talking to people later to get the passcode and stuff, but eh, it's stupid. Okay, so down you go. Nope, nope, no. Nope. And stay down. Yep. 
I think one doesn't have no guard. Now, this I gotta be careful with, because last I checked... Well, actually, first we're gonna go over here. Escape rope. Um, I'm actually gonna save here, because last I checked, this area is glitched. So yeah, the last time I came up here, that guy glitched out. Looks like this time there was no problem, thankfully. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, we gotta reset now. You jag off! If this gets bad enough, I may just have to wall hack my way past it. This is really obnoxious. No. No. Go down. Shut up. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, well, if you're gonna be that way, then I'll just do this. And... Yep, I need the other password. I think this is the prompt I would need to leave and go over to Six Island. But we're not quite done. Do I even need to bother going down south and getting that metal coat? Nah. Not worth it. On to Six Island! And we see this asshole again. Get some more of these. Now we move on towards the south. Get back to you. Oh, there's an item here. Red shard. Useless. Silver powder. Well, I could theoretically give it to Cyclosia because it's hidden power bug. Okay, now we go down here. We're just gonna pop another max repel. Because I don't think there's gonna be anything here that I can use. Pokeball. Really? That much effort for a fucking Pokeball? Actually, I think in vanilla that's a sunstone, but don't quote me on that. Now we come down here, and there's another item. Shell Bell! We've already got several of those. What's over here? Besides a shitty Wobbuffet. Heal Powder! Now we go around the bottom. Up over here, and we talk to this guy. Now we go over here. Talk to this guy. This guy. Go up. And now we reach the destination. Now, ordinarily, if you come here before going to Four Island to deal with the Team Rocket there, there'll be the scientist blocking the way. But the up, uh, what you need to do here, it'll say, it says cut. So you need a Pokemon that uses cut. Drop down this hole. Read this. So, it's two characters, so therefore, that must say up. This one, I believe that's left. That's right. You know it's, it's five characters. You only really have to guess if it's left, if it says left or down, and that, even that's a coin toss. And that says down. We get the sapphire, or nope. 
this opportunistic son of a bitch comes along and steals it. And if this game wasn't railroaded, he'd be fucking dead. Gotta love cutscene scripted incompetence because the story says so. So yeah, to get the other passcode, well, we need to go up north. In fact, we need to go as far north as we can go, and this is gonna get annoying. And there's over here. I think she loves Heracross just a bit too much. Next special. Big mushroom. Now we get into the pattern bush. There's a whole bunch of trainers in here which normally have nothing but basically assorted bug Pokemon, but that's not the case here. This hack gives everyone much more varied teams. Oh, and this. Now, what's the pattern part of this, you wonder? If I recall correctly, if you look at the grass from above, it resembles Letaba's sprite? Yeah, it's a nice little Easter egg. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. I pick you on. Then you. I'll just check to see if you pick up anything. Yes, you did. What you get? Rossberry. Useless. Because I don't get burned. Use another one of these. Up. All right, now let's switch you off. go. Last trainer, I think. Nope. This one. Okay, now they're all beaten. Moving on. And here's Psychic Jacqueline. Uh... Oh, I just remembered. It's like, originally, I forgot. I was like, who's Trace in the last episode? I was like, oh yeah, that's the rival from Let's Go, which I'd never played. AKA the Pokemon game that is dumbed down even more than most of the modern Pokemon games are, because I guess, well... Don't mean to sound like a curmudgeon again, but I guess kids just don't have the patience to learn how to play games like that anymore. Or at least, that's what the execs over at Nintendo are telling themselves. I would argue it's the journalists that don't have the patience to learn how to play video games, not the kids. It's a more patient than you give them credit for. And here's the other rocket grunt we were looking for. Oh, and in there is Altering Cave. It's normally just full of Zubat, but if you had the e-reader, which was never released overseas, if I recall correctly, you can see other Pokemon in there. 
those Pokemon ended up in the Safari Zone and Emerald version. Hmm. I thought he was supposed to tell you the password. Well... Oh, wait, yeah, I think Gideon told you, but whatever. Lucky egg. So, yeah, it's the second lucky egg we found in the overworld. And now we should go back to five. Okay, so I missed this island on the way up this item. It's another red flute. So now we need to activate the wall act. Moving on, we come down here. Because that glitchy guy down there will basically soft lock up. Actually, no, hard lock. It's really think about it. And uh, give me a second to disable that. Now we interact with the door. And now we can enter. I should have grabbed Magmar now that I think about it or something like that. Oh well. We have a bunch of items we can get in here. No, I don't remember exactly how to get them all, but we'll see. Okay. Down you go, down you go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, fine, smartass. Oh, quit you bitchin'. You got to freeze me. Okay, no hidden items. Hmm. Okay, that just took us back to where we were, I think. Oh, nope. There's the pearl. One of the items. Take on this guy. Nope. Beating you up. Okay, so. Well, which way do I go? I think it's this way, isn't it? Okay, that kind of just takes me back to where I was. Oh, wait, no, no. Okay, yeah, we go up this way, and we get... DM5, Roar. Never gonna use that. Uh, I hate to tell you this, guy, dude, but, uh... I actually met Giovanni's kid already? Uh, hmm, how should I respond to that? Ha! Ha ha! Oh, hi, Ariana! Yeah, this is Executive Ariana from, uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. For the, uh... Uh, the female executive from... The original Gen 2 games. In the manga, I believe her character was named Sham. And the male was Car. It's weird. And now we fight Archer! And yeah, this guy's a fair bit tougher. We're gone too. There's something you don't see much. Mm hmm. Yeah, keep dreaming, buddy. And now we talk to this asshole. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna switch out. Not with that attitude, you can't. And with that, we are done with the Team Rocket arc. Now we just have to go back to one island. And there's the seed we got. Spearberry. Actually, I think we need to go and talk to uh, Laura. Whoops. We gotta talk to Laura first. I think we do. Could be mistaken. And now that you've done this, and then you go talk to CeeLo, you unlock the ability to rematch the Elite Four. Which we will need to to unlock the end game for this. So, back to one island. Hey, CeeLo, got your other fucking gemstone. Yep, and that is how you finish up the post game. Let me see, how long have I been recording for? I think this is where we're going to wrap it up. All the way here in Cerulean City. This should give you a hint as to where we're going next. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.